Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are ready for a good video today. Hopefully everything goes to plan. We'll be able to catch us a big bass. We're back here at Clear Lake. Just right down the road from the house again. Last time we came here, uh, we didn't. We did okay. We caught a few fish, but nothing big. But today we're going to see if we can get a, get us a good, a nice four or five pounder possibly. The water's a little warm. No, it's, it's, the water's probably perfect. Water's clear. We're going to head all the way down to the, the south side of the lake. I mean the north end of the lake. I'm going to try to throw around a frog down there and see if we can get lucky on a top water first thing this morning. Then we're gonna go over there to that side of the bank over there and we're gonna flip a uh, big old 10 inch one around those trees and see if we can get us a good one. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we made it down to our first spot. We're gonna start off with the frog down here around this grass. We're gonna fish here for a little bit and try to make it up to another spot. Hopefully the farmers on the other side are irrigating because it's a good spot where some of that water, cool water will run in. A lot of times those fish will load up right there. So we're gonna give it a little try down here. There is another boat out on the lake today. So we're gonna try to see if we can beat them to it. But if not, hopefully they skip over it. Feels like a good one too. Oh yes, it is. It is. Gosh, finally, y'all. We've been struggling so bad, man. See, this one doesn't get off like the last one. It's a good one. It's a real good fish. Come here. Oh, come here. Yes. There we go. Skinny two pounder right there, y'all been struggling y'all we've been struggling bad had that one come off I missed a few missed one on a frog just slowly still dragging this one around it's the only thing we've been getting bit on really good but real skinny summertime fish right there in that right off them cypress trees normally there's water running in right here when these farmers are irrigating but today they're they're not or at least the water hasn't made it down here yet but that's a long skinny fish and give it a kiss and let it go and try to get some more there it goes. Just pitching around this 10 inch tequila sunrise on my favorite baits to use here for big bites and hopefully we'll be able to get some more. Right here just right across from the boat ramp. Somebody putting in right now. We're gonna cast around these trees right here some more and see if there's another one in there. smaller than the last one but I think strong no he may be bigger oh my god I think he's fatter yes that is a fat fish god I think he's short than the other one but he is stout put this spot lock on god it's a good one right there y'all I just got this good one right here, y'all. Nice, almost two pounds. This thing is short and stout. I don't know if you guys can see him on the camera, but it's a real short and stout fish right there. Nice one. Got him right off the lay down right there, right there in that little spot. Where is it at? Yep, right there. Caught this one right here. Nice one on the 10 inch tequila sunrise worm. Give him a kiss and we're going to let him go. Yeah, it's been tough, but the bite's kind of starting to pick up. The wind's picked up a little bit. I think that's helping these this fish bite a little bit. We're going to retie real quick and start pitching these trees again and hopefully get us another bigger one.
There's another one. Oh, it's a little one, but now they're starting to bite. Golly, that thing's wide. It's probably got him a bluegill on his belly. Look how fat that little guy is. Sorry. Look how fat that guy is. If you guys can see it, my hand's not in the way. God, it's a fat fish. Bite's starting to pick up now, y'all. We're gonna catch a few more on this worm, and I'm gonna try like a baby brush hog or something, something a little different. See if we can get a, a bite on something else going to. But it's hard to put down this worm, and they're hitting it. But I want to get us a big one. I want like a four or five pounder today. That's the goal when we got here. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Oh my god, big one. Big one. I don't even know if this is a bass. God, if that's a bass, that's a big one. Oh my god, it's a freaking giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Don't come. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh no, no, no. Don't get in the mud. Don't get in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all, look at that freaking tank. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. God. That's a freaking giant. Oh my god. This is what we came for, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. It's a freaking tank right there. Put him in the live wheel for a second, y'all. Gonna get the scale out on him, y'all. Let's get a weight on this thing, y'all. Four pounds, 11 ounces, almost a five pounder, y'all. That thing looks way bigger than that. Let's get another weight on him. Let's see if we can get another one. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Just shy of a five pounder, y'all. Freaking tank. Look at that thing, y'all. Oh, it's, oh, it's a freaking giant. That freaking... God, if this thing was a little bit fatter, it would have been a five pounder. God, that's a pretty fish. I'm going to get a release on it. And... Oh, God, that's a pretty fish. Let's get it back here. I can get it down closer to the water. God. That looks like an old fish. God, if that thing was a freaking pre-spawner, that thing would be everything of six pounds, y'all. Look at that, that pretty fish. I won't let her get her energy back. Water's a little warm, but whenever she's ready, she'll go. Whenever you're ready, you can go. Oh, man, y'all. How we just caught that freaking four pound 11 ounce, y'all. I can't believe we just freaking caught that thing, God. I thought that thing was gonna be bigger the way it was in the water. It looked way bigger than a freaking 411. I'm freaking shaking still, y'all. Freaking, God. Can't stop saying freaking. I'm just so excited. 10 inch worm right here, y'all. Favorite bait to throw around all summer long, y'all. Anytime you see me at a lake, any of my videos and, and I'm at a lake with cypress trees, I'm throwing a 10 inch tequila sunrise worm. We're gonna get re-tied up. I'm gonna try to calm down for a second and uh, get, a, get a new worm on and keep flipping around right here, y'all. Alright y'all, we're gonna retie real quick. I'm gonna just kinda tell y'all real quick what, what pound line and stuff I had on it. So I'm flipping a 17 pound fluorocarbon. I think it's a 316 ounce weight and a 4 aught uh, 
just a little four up worm hook. Just tying a little clinch knot, that's all we're tying. Nothing fancy. It's getting the job done, y'all. I can't believe we just freaking caught that tank. God. Just threw right in, right in between two trees and just slowly brought that thing back. And the way he picked it up, if it was just a little light bite and picked up my line, it was just swimming away. I set the hook on out when he first came up. It looked like I had a big uh, bow fin or grunel. And uh, so I, I wasn't sure if he was a bass or not. And then when he came up the second time close to the boat, I could tell that it was a big bass. I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier than that, but that's nearly a five pounder, y'all. One of my favorite worms to throw right here. We're going to get back at it. Hopefully, we can catch another one just like that. There's another one right here by that. Oh, oh my gosh. Not as big, but gosh. It's still a good one, though. Gosh. These fish are freaking healthy in this lake. Gosh. Got them at the end of the mouth. Freaking pretty fish right there. Y'all love this lake. I love these little green fish right here, y'all. Let them go. Still in the same spot, y'all, right here where we caught that big one seems like lately well not lately but this morning when I've gotten bit flipping on a tree that in that same area I seem to get another bite like that first fish this morning right in the same spot where I got bit I missed another one and just caught that big one right here and right in the same area on the other side of the tree we just got that one so it's a good sign these fish are starting to bite I don't know if something's changed there's a little dit drainage ditch right there I didn't see. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh my god, another freaking giant. Another giant, y'all. Oh my god, stay. Don't you come on, don't you? Oh my god. I don't know if this one's bigger. Oh my god, I think it is. Oh my god, y'all, we found a freaking good spot right here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god, I think this one's bigger. Yes. Oh my god, y'all. Freaking tank. Freaking tank. Look how far down he got that hook, y'all. Tell me he didn't want that worm. Whew. Oh my god, we gotta get a freaking other picture. In a... Oh god. Let's put him in the well real quick to get a picture. That one's gotta be a four. All right, yeah, we just caught another tank. We're about to get him out and get a quick weight on him real quick. Look at this one. Oh, let's get a quick weight on her. This thing barely was pecking at this dang worm, y'all. I almost thought I was, it was just a little twig, but I just set the hook anyway. Let's see what... It's four pounds even, y'all. That's... Almost 10 pounds. What is that? Uh, almost like right at 9 pounds on two fish, y'all. God, this never happens to me in a tournament. God, if this would happen to me. Look at that pretty fish, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick picture with her and get her released. All right, y'all, that fish just came. I threw it right in that ditch and dragged it back. We got this beautiful 4 pound 11. I mean, the last one was 4 pounds 11. This one's 4 pound 1 ounce. Beautiful clear lake bass. I'm gonna let it go let this fish get back and get fatter and let somebody else hopefully have a chance at catching this pretty fish i'm just gonna let her 
get her strength back and let her go when she's ready. Ah, oh, there she goes back down. Yeah, these fish are shallow. Y'all are in like four feet of water and they're grouped up like this. That's our third fish in this one little spot. We just caught that small one and then that big one just now and that was two casts in a row. I just pitched up back there in the, in the back of that, towards the little mouth of that ditch right there. I was just dragging it back slowly and that fish picked it up. And I made casts at it from a different angle after I caught that big one and couldn't get nothing or didn't get no bites but I do feel like a little lay down and they're not sure what it is a stump or something maybe but I think that fish was right on it he just barely pecked at it when he bit it too the smallest one in the morning but he's fat little guy just right right down the other side of that tree man I should have found this spot this morning I just kind of skipped over it we're almost directly across from where we launched the boat this morning y'all see there's another one in there Things are munching this morning. There's another one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh my gosh, another freaking good one. This spot is loaded with fish, y'all. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Come here. Come here. Yes. It's a freaking good one right there, y'all. Let's put him on the scale real quick and see what he weighs. It's only a one nine. Close to a two pounder, felt like he was bigger than that. I'm gonna get a quick release on him. We're gonna get back in there because these fish are biting now, y'all. Oh, let's let him go. Get a new worm now. Pretty fish right there. First one in a little bit. Right off the tree over here where we caught our first one. Let them go and see there's some more in there. I uh, hadn't really threw much of anything else around. I threw a baby brush hog around and a crankbait and shaky head, but every time I pick this thing back up, I keep getting bit, so it's hard for me to put it back down. I'll make another pitch up in there and see there's another one where he was. Seems like these fish have been kind of grouped up on these trees when, when I've gotten bit.
Oh my gosh, big one we just freaking missed. Oh man. That was a giant. You could tell by the way he was freaking running with it. Gosh. Right off the front of that freaking tree, too. Gosh. Man. Oh. Uh oh. I don't know if it's the same one, but this is a good one. Oh my god. I don't think that's the same one, but there's there's some fish right there. I just felt a little log I went over. Oh god, this is a good one too. Oh god. <laughs> Let him tire out. He's a ball of energy, this guy is. Get around over here. Come on. Just come here. We're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you go. Oh, that's a freaking fat one. That's a three pounder all day. <sighs> maybe not, maybe a two and a half. Woo wee. It's a freaking good one, man. Look how he got that worm too. He's freaking I don't know why I keep saying freaking so much. I'm just so excited. These fish are freaking fat in this lake, y'all. I'm not sure what they're eating up there, but I don't think this is the same one we just missed either. I think this is a different one, but I'm gonna get a quick weight on this one. This one's fat. Almost a three pounder, two pounds, nine ounces. That's a chunk right there, y'all. Everybody, we just caught this two pound, nine ounce right here. Big old chunk right there off that tree sitting right there. There's a little stump right there. We just missed a giant. We got this one. Give her a quick little kiss and let her go and get back in there and see if we can get some more. Oh man, this bite is good today, y'all. We're about to get in there real quick. We're gonna hurry up and retie. I'm gonna stop talking so we can get back in there because I think there's more fish right there. We're gonna try to catch them. Oh. I think that's a little one. Oh, no, no, no. He's not little. He's not little. He's not little. Oh, that's another three pounder. Oh, God. Uh, he's. He may be bigger than three, y'all. Oh, God. He's bigger than three. He's bigger than three. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that tank. <laughs> That's a four pounder. That's another one, y'all. Another one. Barely hooked. The hook just fell out. Look at that freaking tank. Oh. Get a quick weight on him. Three pounds, six ounces. Just shy of a three and a half pounder, y'all. Oh, God, it's a good day. Best day of fishing so far this year. Hey, y'all, check out what we just caught. Dang, almost three and a half pounder, three pounds, six ouncer. Tank of a fish, y'all, big old fish. This thing, I thought it had me a little bitty baby one. Let's get this one back in the water. Okay, hold on. Gentle release. We want gentle. We want gentle. Don't tear up my thumb. Yo, I don't know what's what's changed from this morning to now, but we're freaking tearing these fish up now. Kitty, 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 kitty. kitty.
Kiri, 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 kiri. not a bad one either. God. On the spinning wheel, y'all. On the little shaky head. Uh, light line. I gotta fight him, kinda. Just gotta keep him away from the dock. Oh, this is a strong fish, y'all. Almost jumped in the boat. Come here. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that one, y'all. I don't know if this day could get any better, y'all. It's a freaking giant again, y'all. So I don't I don't know. This is a big one. Y'all look at this freaking tank right here, y'all. It's a freaking giant fish right there. Let's get the scale on real quick. Yeah. Another three pound, six ounce bass, y'all. It's a freaking tank right there, y'all. Freaking three pounds, six ounce bass right there, y'all. Freaking fat one on the little tiny shaky head. I'm gonna give it a kiss and let it go. Look at that thing, y'all. Gosh. I'm gonna let her go. Thank you. Wow. I came over here to the other side of the lake. I'm just trying to fish my way back to the ramp. About lunchtime now. I was just gonna figure I'd try to hit some of this stuff over here, and I picked up the little shaky head with the little small worm, and the guy just kind of barely thumped it, and, and he took off. I didn't realize he was that big at first, but it's another three pounder, almost three and a half pounder, y'all. Hey everybody, we just uh, about to get the boat loaded up. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure if you enjoyed this video, to like, subscribe, maybe even share my video. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, I was going to kind of talk to you guys about what we use today. Uh, most, I think all our fish except for one came on this 10 inch tequila sunrise uh, worm from Culprit. Uh, first thing this morning we tried some top water. We missed a few fish on the frog. Uh, threw some crankbaits around with no luck. Uh, and then we kind of picked up that worm and kind of got them dialed in. We had two key areas where it just seemed like those fish were grouped up and they were nothing but big ones. I, I'm not even sure how many. I know we caught a 411, a 41, two 36s some high twos I think even another three something we caught um, overall it was a good day probably my best day in a long long time uh, I'm not sure how how much our best five would have weighed I'd have to go back to the video and kind of look but I just want to thank you guys again for watching and be on the lookout for more videos